What it do, what it do, man. We in this thing after work on a Thursday, trying to get 700 done. Progressed a little bit. We're giving the uh, intake of Dawn Bath. Y'all know that Dawn Platinum is pretty good stuff. Uh, got my EGR and EVAP delete pieces. Gotta put those on here shortly. And uh, put the intake manifold gaskets on. I put something up on my IG, man. Do y'all like the metal or the plastic? I prefer the metal. They got little locking tabs. They don't clip onto the uh, intake, like stop, but they got these locking tabs that kind of lock down on those uh, bolts. So I like those a little bit better. Um, they both got good reviews. I actually got an extra set of the plastic ones at work. I could have did a comparison, but I left them there. I had forgot them. No, oh, those are fail pro. So comes with a bunch of other stuff in the box. And I can't remember. I think one's for the throttle body. Different. No different stuff. So nice little kit. It's uh MS 98016T. But I prefer the metal, man. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Let me know what y'all think. But we ain't got a lot going on, man. We're trying to. I'm trying to get the intake on and then do the fuel lines. I might do the fuel lines today. Uh, if not, maybe another day, but we ain't got a whole lot going on, man. Just trying to do little by little. I actually think I might go over there and help the neighbor. He's been doing some renovations on the house. Might get him a hand so I can learn a thing or two about woodwork and all that. But you want to do our house? I hear you. Y'all see? Come on. <laughs> but yeah we're gonna let this thing soak in this dawn uh, i heard that was the thing to do but uh i'll check back with y'all in a little bit hopefully i can get this stuff uh put on and be done with this part of the project all right so this box had uh these fuel injector o-rings in it and the oem are blue so i gotta do a little research to see whether or not i need to change these or leave those blue ones on Maybe those blues might be better. I need to clean off the tips of those bad boys because they, they look filthy. They look absolutely filthy. Some of these things are lopsided too. Maybe from me taking it off. So, let me look that up and uh, see what I can find. All right, I end up staying with the blue uh, injector seals. I don't know why, yeah, I don't really have no reason why I did that. I just didn't feel like putting these on. And those blue ones look pretty cool. So I left those on. Um, I put my EVAP block off stuff on. Not gonna run that on this engine. Um, wiped off the fuel injector tips. I gotta let this whole thing dry. Uh, I gotta take this out. Matter of fact, I forgot to do that. I gotta get that out. Let me do that right quick. All right, there's an old one and there's a new one. Oh, I wasn't in bad shape. Probably could have it, left it in there, but the new one came with it, so let's get it put in. Oh, yeah. I like that. Nice and firm in there. Goes in pretty easy. Very easy. I'm going to let this thing dry. Uh, put it back in the shed uh, for another hot day. Tomorrow's supposed to be hot, so it'll dry out. And uh, then we'll slap this thing on. I really want to slap it on tonight, man. I really do. But I don't want no water. Let me get that in there. So, oh, shit. That's not another rag. That's not another rag, Quan. That's not another rag. Use another goddamn rag. I'm sorry. All right, I did some of this uh, grinding today, too. Big Z left the uh, things for me. Got a lot of that side, that driver's side grinded down. And then uh, over on the passenger side, I was able to get a good bit of it. I was able to get a good bit. It was a lot, a lot higher than that. So a little at a time, do a little bit each day 
and it'll be flat before you know it. So that's it for today, man. I'm gonna clean up my little tools that I had out. I didn't have a whole lot out, but lock up the sheds, clean up the tools and whatnot, and uh, get ready to watch some basketball. Ooh, wee! Look at all that. I gotta blow that off. I can't leave that like that. Ooh, I gotta do that right now. All right, much better. Much better. Now you can see the work a little bit better too. That one's almost flush. And that one over there needs uh, just a little bit more. So, so let me cut this down and press it off so y'all can hear me. But yeah, that's it, man. Just doing a little bit of stuff after work. Try to, you know, work hard. Got them uh, food trucks off today. That was a pain in the ass. But um, that's it, man. Little by little, get stuff done. I'm gonna take this to the shed, and uh, that'll be that'll be done deal after that. Make sure I got everything. Yep. All right, man. That's it. We'll holler at y'all later. Peace. The next day. What it do, people? We're back in this thing, man, with another video. We're about to go to a cutlass, me and Quan. But the star of the show this morning. Oh my God, the star of the show. It's the beast with a fresh wash. Shout out to Day One Enterprise. Getting over here and washing the vehicles up. Old girl looks spectacular. Quan truck look good too. Show it in the sunlight right there. Yeah, yeah, she look good. But holy cow, them white letters shining. I love it. That's a good look. So anyway, we gotta go to uh, we gotta go to our old school Cutlass. It's like a, a I think it's an 80s model G body. Um, gotta go about 40 minutes and get it, and then uh bring it back to Athens and then I really don't have nothing else planned the rest of the day I want to do some stuff on 700 done maybe do my fuel lines possibly but um I gotta go back and get the trailer hopefully I don't mess up my nice uh greased up tires and all that going through this wet grass but I'm gonna hook the trailer up and we're gonna get out there we'll bring you all that footage when we get there you gonna bring it you're gonna do the uh went to them you know, good morning peoples <laughs> so we're gonna set the camera up do might do a little time lapse but, but they're picking up this cutlass right here so big e man selling another one you got it in neutral still got it in neutral don't You gonna have no issue clearing that fender. Nah. <laughs> so oh, you gonna yeah. have no issue with that dope clearing that fender. That mug up so high. Yeah. All right. Well, we actually taking this thing back to back to Winterville where we came from. We knew we had to bring it back to Athens, but they actually live in uh in the same city. An old, old school small block in there. Look at it. There's something out there for everybody, man. It's a, it's a seat, an ass for every seat, that's what they say. So we're gonna get this thing back, strap it down. Get it back. Can't wait to see this dunk when you get it back. Ariel, the same one that got the, uh, the gold dunk. So hopefully we'll get to see it soon because that thing's badass. But man, it's so clean. Holy cow. All right, let's get out of here. In there! Yes, sir. What it do, man? We out here. We finna cut some fuel lines right quick using our new tool that we got. A little Milwaukee Compact. A little, little Compact baby right there. I'm gonna give it a shot. So, uh, these are the fuel lines I'm gonna use on 700 right here. And they're all lopsided. And I don't want to use those lopsided ends. So I'm going to cut down a little bit. I think I was going to start with this one. Cut down a little bit and get a straight cut. 
and then cut the other side put the fittings on and call it a day all right actually i'll do it this way this is what you gotta do hold it hold okay. it on the tip i'm gonna hold the other side Straight cut though. Look at that. Mm. I did do stink. Jesus. It stinks badly. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at all this stuff coming out of there. Got to blow them out after you cut. What we'll do, like I said, we're going to measure 55. It said like 55 inches, I think. So, let's measure. We'll be right back. All right, about to cut the other side. I'm about to bust my ass again. Gotta flip it. Y'all see where we at, man. We had to come put up on Mr. T and use his vice. Mr. T, the newly retired yeah, Mr. T, right. T and baby. And that's my buddy, Corey Jones. Yep, he retired, man, after how many years? 44. 44 years after running. 54, if you count everything. Yeah. I've been business 44 years. Yeah, you deserved it, man. What I told you, what I told you when you first told me, I said, you deserve it then. Yeah, you told me. I deserve it. Yep. I but deserve it. We down here, Mr. T got this vice. This is the only thing I don't got, man. I gotta get a vice. And we got these, uh, I bought these. Look at these nice little oh, pieces yeah. right here. You put them inside of the vice. Yeah. And then you put the few lines in it. Yeah, you just open right here. Do that way. Open it up and put it on there. Screw it in there, buddy. I'll let you do that. Uh, yeah. I'll show him supervised. Oh, yeah. All right, so these things work good, man. Vibrant. Vibrant performance. That's right. That's a good thing right there. And then you put the fitting in, and then it keeps oh, it tight. So all you got to do is it worry about this it right won't there. Skin it. Right. You put this regular vice, it's going to skin it. Uh huh. Mr. T, he know exactly what we're doing. That's right. I know exactly. I guess what I need to doing. roll it up so, so I can. Let me, let me do that. Yeah. There we go. You see got that? an air compressor. Yeah. Okay. You know you have to get it. Blow through air through it, right? Yeah, I already did it twice before right. I did it. I'd go cut mine on, but if you if you had one. Oh yeah, go around the side like that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there, boy. Okay. Real good stuff. You get it on your hand, you can't get it. That's good. Oh shit, I already it's on the bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's on the bottle. Just run it on down in there. That's all you got your other end run all the way up in there, ain't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got the actual holes all the way up in there. That's what I mean, okay. That's the way you do it right there, baby. You won't have no leaks and you ain't gotta worry about it coming off. Mm-hmm. That's forever. If something happens, all you gotta do is go get you some more holes. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you made some of these before. You know all about these, uh, sound like. Yeah, yeah, I've been making them up on all my cars, I think. Look at Mr. T, use, baby. I guess I could have used the side with the rest. That's what I use, what I, that's what I use most of the time. Y'all ain't going to believe this, but I broke one. Four vehicles I done made fuel lines for. And I ain't never broke one. Actually, I've always used Russell. And this was a Summit Racing brand. Yeah, they aluminum. So I'm Don't not... Don't use no aluminum fit. I'm not sure if it's got anything to do with the Summit, but I'm telling you. I've never broken one of these Russells. So T-Baby doing yeah, it Yeah, so T-Baby doing it. I wasn't, ain't nothing too good for he my said, buddy Corey. He said he was supervising and he had to step in. Me and my Corey Jones, yeah. Corey needs a little little leadership here. Ain't no question <laughs> about that. He just needs a little guidance. He's all right. He good. He good. I measured the holes against 
my other one that was too short. It was like a hair too short and it's still long enough. So that's good that I had yeah. cut it long. You know I'm what I'm gonna, saying? I'm gonna show you something in just a minute. Talking about these aluminum fittings. I'm gone. All right, buddy. See you tomorrow. They went right, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you something aluminum fittings. Okay. All right, them aluminum fittings made me have to put an external cook, transmission cook on this car here for a simple reason. Hold on, I'm running up and out and they pull the threads out of the bottom of the radiator. I had to, I had to put, see I got a brass one, yeah. but I ordered some and ended up having to put me on, uh, had to put an external cool on it. I put yeah. one, a little small one with a fan on it, but that, it wasn't. Because that radiator right, right now, right, they, they they went right there. You know, a lot of times screwing aluminum in the aluminum, they want to go. Yeah. And I had thread tape on it. And it got galled up in there. I couldn't get it tight, and I couldn't get it out. When I tried to get it out, it just took the three and slap out the ready. Damn. And you couldn't get a tap up in there to re-tap it. It wouldn't go far enough, Cory. Undo that for me. Me and Cory gonna start that counter. Me and Cory gonna start us a, a rod shop, I think. <laughs> We're gonna call it, what did I see? We're going to call T it... T-Baby and we're KJ. Gonna, well, yeah, we're going to call it J and T. Jones and Tyler. <laughs> I don't mind my name being second. <laughs> you I've been second all my life. I hear that, Mr. T. I hear that. So look, look. Look at the difference right here. It was long enough, but it was just a hell short. So I cut the new ones. I cut them. Yeah. And see? Stretch that out. Yeah. See, and I still have, that's why you're always good to have a little extra length. You know oh, yeah. Saying? Oh, yeah. That's good holding. Yeah. yeah. I still got plenty. Yeah. Uh, so. You don't need no end on that. No, uh, no, no. That's the, that's my spare one. Yeah. That's my spare one. I, that's the way I fix all my hands. Don't forget your stuff, man. Oh, all right. That's the way I fix all my stuff, Tony. So, one, now that we messed it up and broke one, I had to cut a little bit off. So, right, one is right, a hair right, long. Right. To stretch that out. You know, that sounds good. J and T. A J T. <laughs> J T's. JT's rod shop. Hold that one. See? That's only, what, yeah. a hair short? That's right. Yeah. So that's inch, inch and a half. Yeah, that's good. JT's rod shop. JT's rod shop. Yeah. And this going to be the uh, the company vehicle right here. Yeah, this, yeah. This what Ford. Done with. Uh, we all, hey, me and you, I ain't been working on it about seven, eight years, and I retired two weeks ago so I could start working on it, and I ain't. All I've done is laid the hood on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get on the road I soon, though. One thing, I wish I took a picture of how all that was put together. Right. Because it's got me confused, Corey. Oh, man. But hey, but this right here. But you're going to figure it out, though, ain't you? Oh, yeah. This is a ground stomping baby boy. Yeah. I mean, it, this baby here ain't nothing short about it. I mean, it, 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 it man, it'll, it'll get on down the road. Well, we appreciate it, Mr. Right, T. That's good. Hey. That height front end is worth every penny you spend on it. Yeah. I don't care what nobody says. They worth every penny you spend on them. Ten four. Well, look, that, we did a good job here, didn't we? Hey, baby, anytime. We ain't, yeah. me and you ain't screwing, man. Hey, y'all will see Mr. T, baby, soon. I'm going to come back over here and check in with That's you. right. That's right. We'll holler at y'all. You see us soon. We'll see y'all. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>